So let's talk for a second about who would really benefit from the SSP from my perspective. Um, if you are someone who just tends to really anchor, unfortunately, in a sympathetic mobilized state of anxiety, worry, restlessness, unease, and you just can't seem to shake that, and it seems to be just this ongoing background sense of unease, um, this could be a good, good place to uh, kickstart. Um, or if you've tried all kinds of other tools, um, self-regulation uh, exercises, and you just aren't quite able to shake it completely, this might also be a good thing for you. Um, it could get you over the hump, so to say, um, to the top of the ladder where uh, life is just a little bit easier, a little less angst, a little less... Uh, clinging or driving or just you know that sense of dis-ease um, this is could be really good for that as well um, also if you are someone who experienced uh, trauma and specifically a reaction to trauma could have been a single event or numerous uh, events that you remember a time in your life where you went into the dorsal vagal complex, meaning that you shut down, could have collapsed physically, uh, may have even passed out, um, could have been as a result of illness as well, or uh, some medical procedure. It doesn't have to be trauma the way that we think of trauma in regards to abuse or being taken advantage of or something like that, or post-traumatic stress disorder. But if there's ever been a time in your life where you can recall going into dorsal vagal shutdown collapse, um, this could be a really helpful place to start as well. Um, it's not a standalone. It is a catalyst to change. It's a passive portal into uh, neural regulation of your autonomic nervous system. And yet it's not in and of itself the answer. It's a starting point or it's a place where so many other things may not have taken you all the way to where you want to go. Um, but it's not an end all necessarily. Um, but it does significantly help those of us who have the chronic anxiety, restlessness, angst, unsettledness or for those of us that have even gone all the way to dorsal in the past and have uh, remembered times of being shut down, collapse, all those things. So often after a dorsal vagal response, the body um, knows that that's actually life-threatening. Um, it's not where mammals like humans can reside for very long. And so it you might notice in your life if you've been there that now you are hyper vigilant and that you're actually doing a lot of things maybe you exercise a lot maybe you're constantly moving because that's your body's way of staying out of going dorsal um, but you probably experience a, a kind of a toggling where you're really getting a lot done you're driven you're accomplished maybe you're very successful and you feel like that's your edge, right? It keeps you going, keeps you striving for a lot of different things. And then there's times where you're just completely exhausted and overwhelmed, and then you're like, what am I doing? I'm numb, and I'm ugh, just completely spent. That's the body not being able to maintain that sympathetic mobilization forever. And then the uh, resort, last resort is to, to go dorsal. So if you notice in your life, that you toggle between sympathetic and dorsal, uh, getting lots and lots done, uh, mobilized, exercise a lot, constantly moving, and you have a hard time sitting still and resting in silence and stillness, or you toggle back and forth between hyperarousal and hypoarousal where you just are lethargic and spent or depressed and uh, lonely, helpless, 
back and forth, this might be a really good thing for you as well. So that's the types of people that I help um, with the Safe and Sound Protocol. There are many, many more uh, applications for it uh, that the people over at ILS and Stephen Porges have, have done things and seen tremendous results uh, with the SSP. But those are the, the couple of specific areas that I tend to use SSP for and with. So I hope that helps.